What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am an energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general reading for ooh, somebody. Some of you are about to fall in love. Okay, anytime I drop something, you're about to fall in love. Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are doing beautifully well today. You got a decision to make here. <laughs> Um, what I'm going to tell you about this decision here, Leo, don't allow anyone to dictate which way you move, okay? Also, don't um, tell everyone what's happening. Don't take advice from just anybody. Um, if you want some type of advice, ask someone who you know is going to be honest and truthful to you. Someone who you know is not going to just tell you what you want to hear. Someone who you know is going to tell you like it is, okay? That's what I'm getting for some of you. All right, Leo, let's see what's going on. Ooh, that came flying, bro. Knight of Ariel. Okay. What else? Bottom of the deck is divine guidance. The search for the meaning of life. Consider an alternate approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. Yo, the readings today... If you have Sagittarius or Virgo in your chart, I would go watch those readings. Or if you're dealing with any of those signs. Um, it's like all of y'all had this amazing energy today. I freaking love it. But anyway, you're being guided, Leo. And whatever you're being guided to do is scary as F. Like you're shivering in your boots. Okay? But you're being guided by your angels, by your, your higher self. To do this okay we're gonna clarify what that is because that card is very see it feels very important to me okay okay hold on. oh well, i'm gonna switch decks for you so i'm gonna switch the decks we got a lot of water here could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But you definitely don't have to be. Ten of Swords is in reverse. The worst part of something is over. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right. The first card you have is the Knight of Ariel here. All right. Trustworthy, understanding, devoted, and funny. That's you. This is, that's who you are. Let me say that again. You are trustworthy, you are understanding, you are devoted, and you're a funny ass motherfucker, Leo, okay? There's so much to accomplish, make a very detailed plan, being watched over someone kind. This, I thought like the universe is reminding you who the F you are, bro. Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. You could be dealing with the Pisces or have Pisces in your as your moon. Um, it's like there could be people around you not treating you up to par, I'm going to say it just like that. And, um, oh man, hold on. And it's like, they're not seeing you for who you are. And what I'm going to say, the Knight of Wands is here. What I'm going to say is they see you. They see you. Anyway, so that should make you, came out again, that should make you... You know, they see you. Why they don't want to see it, that's up to them. Um, you, you're being asked to look at something for what it is versus for what it ain't. What is this Knight of Ariel? Now, the Five of Swords, the Hangman, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. That's crazy. This is the Knight of Ariel, but in the Tarot, it's the Knight of Pentacles. And it's in reverse here. So I feel like um, I feel like you're going to be done waiting here. Mm-hmm. Eight of Wands, the Tower, and the Two of Pentacles. I love it. There's going to be some communication that comes in here. Um, and whatever energy wasn't seeing you for, for who you were is about to be really tight. It's about to be really upset, okay? Um, I see you, you're no longer, you're done waiting for something that's not reliable, that's not committed, that's not showing up for you. Like, I feel like you're not devoting yourself to that energy anymore, you said no mother effer, no. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or this could be about work, okay? I really feel like changing your perspective is something that's not easy for you to do in this energy because, again, you have been devoted to this for a very long time with the Knight of Ariel. The Knight of Ariel translates to the Knight of Pentacles, which is the slowest knight in the whole deck. 
but it's loyal, it's committed, it's consistent. And that was your energy from the beginning till now you're watching this video and they still haven't seen it. They still trying to give you a hard time. Like I see some communication, I see some communication coming in here. That's going to make you weigh out your options. This communication is going to, is going to cause a drastic change in your life. Okay. I'm not feeling a painful one. I'm feeling an uncomfortable one. Like you're going to have to move in a way that maybe you don't want to. Right. Um, but you know that this is the right way is really what I'm getting. You have the sun card here with the page of wands in reverse. It's like, it's going to make you happy to deny, to like not want to, um, I'm hearing have another go around, but it's like, it's going to make you happy to not start something new because the energy is no longer like commit reliable. Like you just don't trust it anymore. You just don't. But if you're in your head about changing your perspective or if changing your perspective is getting a little hard because you could be trying to figure out how to calm your mind because your mind is telling you, no, Leo, what are you doing? This is not what we usually do. You know that you're devoted. You know that you're trustworthy. Like your mind could be telling you like, no, 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 no. But your heart and your spirit and your soul is like, Leo, get us the F out of here. We don't deserve this. So... You know, you got this. What I'm going to tell you is get out. Don't listen to your mind right now. You're on the right path. You're being divinely guided by the universe. Remember. Okay. All right. The next card you have is the King of Raphael. All right. Um, warm, generous, honorable, and refined. Yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. This translates to the King of cups in the regular tarot and i feel like you're ready for something you're ready i don't feel like you feel ready don't let the past hold you back south node i don't feel like you're ready but i i don't feel like you feel like you're ready but you are okay it could be um whatever it is that you're ready that the universe is like you're ready for it could be that you're kind of stuck in the past um the past way of doing things or maybe you're looking into the past too much let's see what this is what is the king of Raphael? and don't let the past hold you back it could literally be your past strength guard could be another leo king of la 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 king of pentacles in reverse four of pentacles in reverse and the two of cups in reverse with the higher fit in reverse could be a taurus um I do feel like the universe is saying that you're strong enough here with the strength card. And this is your card too. So you showed up here um, to real to turn your back on something that is not stable with the king of pentacles in reverse. Like it's just not stable. Point, period, blank. This could be somebody who has a lot of money um, or a job situation that's no longer stable. All right. Um, with the two of cups in reverse and the four of pentacles in reverse, they're asking you to let go of this here because you no longer are um, connecting with this energy in a in a harmonious way, whether it's love or work, okay? It's no longer peaceful. It's no longer harmony. It's no longer, it's not that. And I feel like with the, don't let the past hold you back. And there's something, there's something that could have happened in the past and you're just like, oh, well, if I, if I let this go, then the same thing, then what happened in the past is going to happen to me. It's not. You have, you're being guided by the universe. That means there's something way better, so don't think that you're going to repeat the past because you won't. You learned your lesson. You're strong enough to make the right decisions. And you move past that chapter. You're on, you're, you're on this chapter now. And this chapter needs to close out. You have learned all the lessons that you, have, that you already needed to learn here. This separation, this breakup, this whatever this is from whatever this energy is, is going to make you a lot stronger. It's going to show you how much stronger you are. Because whatever this was doesn't didn't match your morals and your values. There was a lot of fear here involved too, but you were still investing into it. But I feel like once you release negativity and make a decision, you're going to see how easy you can get over this, how easy you'll recover from this. Because the universe has your pentacles here. The universe has your abundance, has your family situation, whatever it is for you. But you have to be willing to make the sacrifice in order to obtain that. And that could be removing yourself from this connection or this job situation. And if you've already done that, then good things are on the way, boo. Oh, happy birthday if it's your birthday. Okay, next 
card you have is the Nine of Raphael. I love how you end with this card. This is the Nine of Cups in the regular tarot. Make a wish. Dreams come become reality. A joyful time in life. Did I not? Bruh, I'm telling y'all. If you follow the divine, you will never lose, bruh. Doesn't matter what anybody else says. No matter what it looks like in the physical. When you follow the divine, when you follow your inner compass, your inner self, you always win. So you got your wish here. Nothing is yet set in stone. You're in a situation right now that you think is your wish, but it's not. I know it's going to be a hard pill to swallow, but it's not. Nothing is yet set in stone means that nothing is concrete. That wherever you're at, that you think, oh, this is the end all be all. Is it's no, nothing there has been. Nothing there is official. Nothing there is solid. It's not that. What is nothing is yet set in stone and the nine of Raphael here. Now I am gonna say this as well. I've been saying this to everyone today. Well, not everyone. I don't think I said it to Sag, but Venus is in retrograde from now until September. Now, retrogrades are always freaking, <laughs> they're crazy. But this one is going to hit home for all of us because Venus is a planet of love. Plen Plenus. <laughs> Venus is a planet of family, relationships, platonic or not. And also job, like anything that you truly love and care about is being looked at at this time. Like, are you getting what you're putting into the situation? And if you're not, the universe is going to make stuff it not makes up switch it up and it's going to be in a way where you can't ignore it like it's not like mercury retrograde where uh you could not nah, nah, it's, eh, no nah, it's the same kind of energy you really can't control mercury retrograde either but i don't feel like it's as it's gonna hit it's not as um as potent you know now in the reverse, if you're in something that is actually giving you what you're giving it and it's equal reciprocation and it's beautiful and it's amazing, that is going to grow. That is going to grow into something so beautiful. You're never going to, you, it's good. Yeah, yeah. It's so beautiful. But I, what I'm seeing here is there's something here that you really care about that got to go. And I'm, I'm, I'm honest on my channel. I don't freaking sugarcoat nothing because I want the best for y'all. Um, and I'm gonna be honest with you, the nine of Raphael can have to do something with love. What is the nine of Raphael? Nothing is yes set in stone. Ten of Cups, Page of Cups in reverse, the Knight of Swords in the Tower with the Death card in reverse. Could be with a Scorpio. Um, this could be a family situation as well. Okay, could be somebody in your family. Um, but I don't feel like you're listening to your intuition here. I feel like the universe wants you to go away from this family situation. Your Ten of Cups is not, this is Nine of Cups. Your Ten of Cups is here. And your your intuition is telling you this isn't your full, for, for, I think I told you, guys, told you guys this in another video. Where it's like, this is not your wish. It, it, this is not it. And they want you to allow a tower to fall, wherever you're in right now. Allow that disaster to meh, do what it got to do and move away from it. Um, but I feel the death card in reverse, the nine of swords and the chariot. You're having a lot of stress as to how to move forward. I do see that. Um, I feel like with the death card in reverse, you're kind of resisting a change, but that's because you're stressing out. You do have the page of swords and the high priestess in reverse here with the six of pentacles in reverse. If you guys ask somebody for advice, okay, like I said earlier, earlier in the beginning of the video, you're not going to hear what you want. Because this person is going to tell you the truth. This person is going to tell you that there's a situation here that you're not getting the same thing out of it. That there's no love here. That they're not open to any type of growth. It's going to piss you off, King of Wands in reverse. And you might even cut this person off. King of Cups is in reverse. Because you're so upset about it. The Six of Cups and the King of Swords. This could be somebody that you have children with. Somebody you have a lot of memories with. This could be a child. Or this could be a sibling. And it's like this person is just telling you the truth. With the king of swords here. This person is being honest. Okay. Um, like e e even me saying. There's not a Raphael. Nothing is yet in stone. Like I was even a little hesitant towards saying that. Because I feel you're just like. You're just like. What are you going to say? What are you going to say? You know like. But Leo. We've all been there. I have been here. Okay. 
So I know how it feels. But what I'm telling you, this is why I made this channel. This is why I'm doing what I'm doing so I can help people and guide people. I don't speak about nothing that I have not went through, that I didn't learn the lesson, experience it, and moved on. If the universe is guiding you to get the F up out of something that you thought was what you wanted, and it's and it's physically, mentally, emotionally, because it, start, it starts hitting us in all the freaking corners, okay? It starts affecting you in all of those areas. You got to go. And I'm telling you, there's always something better. Always. And yeah, you getting out of this is going to be uncomfortable. But you got yourself into it. You can get yourself out of it. And you got yourself into it. So it's not going to be easy to get yourself out of something that you devoted your whole entire energy to, you know? So cut yourself some slack as well. Be easy on yourself and understanding that this is not an easy process, but be honest with yourself and know that this has to happen, okay? All right, let's see what this divine guidance is. Bear, what are you guys guiding Leo to do? What is the divine guidance? The Ace of Wands, the Five of Cups in reverse, and the Two of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. They want you to stop nurturing something here. And start something new with the Ace of Wands. Um, I feel like they're saying you're not going to regret it with the Five of Cups and Reverse and the Two of Pentacles. You're going to have a two choices. You're going to have two different routes, two different ways, two different things. It's like it's going to be even better than what you thought. Because that when we're being guided by the universe and we listen and we follow, here they come with all of these opportunities and all these people to help us. And, bro, I've been through this too many times i have scorpio in my chart so i literally go through transformations like every other freaking month <laughs> okay so but the more you trust in the divine the more you trust in yourself and your intuition the easier it gets okay why do i want to pull this for your advice this could be about a love situation so there i'm being guided to pull the romance for your advice which is freaking interesting um, so I'm going to try my best to interpret it besides love. Cause I know not all of y'all are going through a love situation. What is this night of Ariel? Also Venus is in retrograde in your sign. So that's not a coincidence. Why I'm being guided to pull the love card. That's crazy. All right. Soulmate. That's the card that fell. Hold on. Let me get it. I thought there's a soulmate that is still out there for you. If you could have met someone new, this person is your soulmate. Okay. All right, let's see. What is Night of Ariel and Meditate and Contemplate? You have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So I feel like you attracted this because you um, you were in an energy of loving yourself. You were in an energy of you know, it's like you allure this energy in because you're so, some of you guys are really, really attractive, very, very good looking. Um, and you allure this energy in, um, as well as you were so devoted to it, you know, you were so devoted to yourself when this energy came in. Okay. What is King of Raphael? And don't let your past hold you back. You have to stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, don't think that you can't get better than this person or than this job because you absolutely can. You have to think positive. And anything that we release, it's always replaced with something better. I'm telling you. You just have to have faith, okay? What is this nine of Ariel and nothing is yet set in stone? Keep in mind. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual expectations. I'm about to cry. Hold on. I mean, I'm not about to cry, but I feel energy crazy sometimes. Um, I told you, I told you the person who you're with is not the person you're meant to be with. The person who you're meant to be with is going to be different than your usual expectations. The job that you're supposed to be in, it's going to, it's not going to, um, be what you usually would go for. So you have to take a leap of faith. You have to get out of your comfort zone. Like I said, this is only your ninth. This, is, this isn't the end all be all. It's not. I'm telling you. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help you bring you together. I feel like you don't even know this. 
but you're energetically bringing you and this person together. Now, it's not going to happen overnight because spiritual time is way slower and longer than our time. But I feel like by you realizing, oh, this is not this is not what I want anymore. This is not my fulfillment. I'm not 100 percent fulfilled. You are calling in energetically this person that's actually meant for you. OK, and I will say this. You wouldn't have known. You wouldn't have known how good you are if it wasn't for this energy, if it wasn't for you being in this energy, if it wasn't for you being treated the way you were treated. So don't ever feel regretful. Everything happens for a reason. OK, I know some of y'all like I'm not thanking this person, but some of you guys internally you know, be grateful that now you see, be grateful that you went through this experience because now you see that you're all that in a bag of chips and you're no longer going to settle for anything less than your ultimate wish. And that was the goal of this relationship, of this job, is to teach you your worth when it comes to love, when it comes to your finances, okay? All right, Leo, it's all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.